Nice of you to finally show up. You're only 30 minutes late, which is somewhat less than your usual tardiness. So, I'm impressed. Ah, Lucinda. The anticipation of your charm has always been my inspiration for being late. I'm just glad you got here. Well, since it was less of an invitation and more of a summons, what choice did I have? None, actually. So what's the skinny, Lucinda? I take it you want to talk about Lucian. Yes. But first, you want me to order you a little drinky-winky? no we woe Oh, come on. You know I hate to drink alone. That was never my experience with you. What do you mean? Well, as many times as I went with Leonard to bail you out of the drunk tank. All right. No sense dreading up my misspent youth. What youth? The last time was six months before he died. What are you doing these days? Do you, do you have uh, Ziggy's bail bonds on speed dial? That's enough. And yes, this is about my son, your not grandson. This is about taking him out more often. I, it used to be twice a month. Then it was once a week. Here lately it's been two, sometimes three times a week. Don't, do you want to have dinner with him once in a while? I want you to stop seeing him. What did you say? I believe you've been spending too much time with him, and it hasn't been good for him. Define good. Look, since Daddy died, I know you've been trying to fulfill that idiotic promise you made to him, but... But what? Well, you're off the hook. I absolve you of any guilt, and you know you never really like spending time with him. Define like... Quit being difficult, Cliff. I admit I had some trepidations at first, but it's been months. And like moss on the north side of a tree, the kid's grown on me. Yes, and in the months he spent with you, you tried to teach him to drive. And after weeks of begging, I finally let him try to back the Beamer out of the driveway. And he proceeded to back over a stray cat. Another cat? Kid must be a dog person. What was that? Nothing. Oh. And that pet snake of his that you convinced him to let loose in the backyard? We think it might have killed the neighbor's chihuahua. Any DNA evidence of that? Oh, shut up. But worst of all, you took him to meet up on a tryst with an Oriental. Yes, Lucinda, I took him to Westwood to have a date with a rug. You know what I mean. What were you thinking? Those people are only in restaurants, laundries, and nail salons. I know you too well, Lucinda. Look, Lucia's not a little kid anymore. He's 13. You remember what you were like as a teenager? We are not talking about me. Good, because then we'd have to talk about your recreational drugs, the casual sex, the multiple expellings from every private school Leonard could buy your way into. I was young. You were wild. And now you're worried because Lucian likes a Chinese girl? I'm worried about your overall influence. Besides, he doesn't need you. He has me. No, Lucinda. Unlike Barracks 8 at Fort MacArthur, Lucian hasn't had you. Fun times. How dare you? Who was there for him when he had pneumonia? Leonard. Oh, right. But who rushed him to the hospital when he fell out of the tree and broke his arm in two places? Me and Leonard, and it was three places. Was it three? Oh, God. How could I forget that? Because you weren't there. You were in Europe. France. Belgium. I remember Leonard gave you that trip when you got your one-year sobriety pen. Too bad it didn't last. Oh... Daddy was always the best daddy. Oh, really? He let you turn into a selfish, entitled bigot who loves to take her frustrations out on her son. That's not true. You see, Cliff, my mom's a yeller, and a yeller needs somebody to yell at. And when Dad passed a couple of years ago, I became the designated yelly. He said that? I believe I got the quote right. Oh, and on the drive to Westwood, he also said... Every time she yells at me, I feel like I just missed being the caboose on the abortion train. Oh, that is ridiculous. He doesn't seem to think so. Are you kidding? Daddy would have had a fit. Is that the only reason? Okay. I yell sometimes. But, well, you've been around him more for months now. What do you do? Usually, I just talk to him. That will be coming to an end. Why? Are you guys moving? No. 
you're going to stop seeing him. Come again? Oh, come now, Cliff. You were only doing it because Daddy asked you to. Why this sudden disregard for your father's wishes? Because I'm beginning to see a rebellious streak in Lucian, and I don't like it. I believe that rebellious streak is called being 13. And I think it's called too much time around a sarcastic iconoclast. And what am I supposed to do? Tell him sorry, kid? Your mama's forbidden me to see you anymore? Nothing quite so dramatic. You simply stop coming over, stop answering his phone calls and text messages. So just drop him. Let him think he's been forgotten to death. Now you're getting it. Oh, I got it. This way he thinks, I just got tired of him, and you had nothing to do with it. I believe they used to call that keeping your skirt tails clean. But what if I say no? You have no legal right to see the boy. Let's keep this civil, Cliff. Daddy would have wanted us to do at least that. And I think that sound you hear isn't the rotisserie chickens from next door rotating, but the sound of Leonard turning over in his grave. Come now, Cliff. You've known me all my life, but I know you too. You're like water. You always take the path of least resistance. If I'm like water, Lucinda, you might want to watch out for the flood. Just cease all communication with him, and don't force me to file a restraining order against you. Oh, crap, Leonard. What the hell do I do now?